Good morning, children. In Home Science Class Twelfth, the chapter is same. That is work, livelihood, and career. And the topic is standard of living and quality of life. Standard of living and quality of life. These are two things on the basis of which we can make out. that the people living in a country are living happily prosperous and leading their life comfortably so standard of living we all know the so and so person has good standard of living so and so has high standard of living so and so is having very low standard of living so that depends upon the availability of various things goods money etc so that in that way we can say that standard of living is referred to the wealth and level of comfort material goods and availability of necessary things to the people not a particular person but the people of that country and to measure this there are some factors related to standard of living and they are very common they are like income income what comes in like salary money rent okay then availability of employment the people are having job opportunities they are working and in return they are getting salary or wages right then cost of goods and services the things they are affordable the people can have almost all those things that they need to lead their life comfortably then if the person is working and the people are working in some organizations offices workplace so they are getting number of paid vacations like leave and for those leaves the salary is not deducted and that is decided how many paid leaves will be given to the employee in a year then we come to economic and political stability in a country that means when the government is good and that is democratic government which is you all know formed by the people for the people and of the people only then obviously such government will do good things to make the life of the people comfortable and economic conditions are also taken care of by the government besides this infrastructure infrastructure like power transportation and the things that are needed to carry on so many functions then healthcare healthcare for healthcare hospitals and doctors at all the levels they are available medical facilities hmm? medical facilities given to the employees common people poor people they can afford the medical facilities at either very reasonable cost or free like we have government hospitals hmm? then life expectancy life expectancy in on an average for how many years a person lives a healthy life without falling seriously ill <coughs> then other than this political and religious freedom political uh, religious it means people are free to take part in political affairs like taking part in the elections to elect the government form the government to be elected and to be in, to be the part of the government right the common people are contributing in the political affairs then religious freedom religious freedom like secularism or where there is no particular religion to be followed or not to be followed any religion or all the religions followed by any person all the people or in other words we can say people are free to adopt follow worship any religion of their choice and no one can compel them to follow or not to follow okay and that is the personal 
matter of the people then environment quality environment quality pure air hai na pure water clean water and air without pollution hai na etc so these are some of the factors that are helpful in knowing the standard of living of the people okay now we come to the next point and that is how to measure the standard of living of the people that is measured by an index index called hdi human development index which was developed by united nations in the year 1990 to consider life expectancy literacy rate especially of the adult and gdp gdp gross domestic product that is the value of all goods and services produced within a country and within a specific period of time say a year okay now we move on to the other point and that is a second part of the topic that is quality of life quality of life means what type of life they are leading or having the people of a country are they happy or are they tensed pressurized hmm? we see you know this with the help of these factors also we can make out that is overall quality of life of all the people in general you know in a country like you know there are some countries where the common people are not happy they are not leading the life like we we are living in our uh, leading in our country without taking the name of any country we can say the people they are not satisfied with the functioning of government with the economic conditions provided to them by the government the provisions of uh, justice and you know, a law and justice so that means the people are not fully satisfied they are having some or the other problem which is not solved by the government of that country so that is related to the quality of life they are living but not the way they should live so that depends upon some factors and they are like if there is no slavery or no torture of the people by any group by the government you know, or by any other uh, organization then the law is fair equal law for all all the people are treated equally by the law rich poor male female you know, etc all will get justice in the same way without favoring any particular person or group of person people then there is no discrimination no discrimination this is related to equality right to equality the people are treated equally you know economically socially politically so there is no discrimination <coughs> then people enjoy political freedom and economic freedom economic freedom one like per- people are free to to be engaged in any kind of job work according to their capability qualification ability okay and they will be given same salary for same work even men and women doing the same work will get same facilities same salary okay and same conditions will be uh, for them there will be no such discrimination then here also the quality of life again depends upon religious freedom you know political freedom right to education rest right to privacy etc so if these things are prevailing in our country so obviously people will live without any pressure without any tension and they will lead their life happily thank you